who you are, where, where you, you are. are. And, mm-hmm. and, but and then that's I, okay. That's okay. That's okay. So, so and then here's the point, right? God's not running from you He's because you are who you are, where you are. You just said something, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, God, that's so simple. I said, it was said like three, four times on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Because it was so simple. Mm-hmm. But it, you can't avoid it, right? If you believe that God does a work mm-hmm. in his church before mm-hmm. he does a work with mm-hmm. his church, mm-hmm. right? You're saying, you're right. establishing that mm-hmm. God prepares us for what's next. That's right. If you hold fast to right. that truth, mm-hmm. then you have to also hold fast to then yeah. what happened in my past mm-hmm. has built me for now. Right. right. Like you, you, you can't have both, right? One... Well, that the truth that he God didn't just start working. He did it. <laughs> he's been <laughs> he's been at work. He's been at work. That's beautiful. He's been at work, mm-hmm. and like I say, that's the point where it's like that's mm-hmm. where it's like, man, God's been causing it. Have you stopped and looked back? Right, right. You're always mm-hmm. thinking about he's building me for what's next. Well, if he's wow. always building you for what's next, that means he's, he's built, built you, you for what's you. now. That's but, it. <laughs> but you <laughs> That's good right there. Right. But what yeah. how how do we we talked about this? How mm-hmm. do I not recognize it? Right. Well, Paul knew his appointment. Yeah. Um, and I would say he probably in that time reflecting in prison was able to clarify his appointment. Oh, yeah. And he did, and that's what we talked mm-hmm. about a little bit, was how when he was like, I I I got so clear now, I I realized it's not even my job to care about the motives. Mm-hmm. It I'm specifically here that it's said. Yeah. Right. He had to even mm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. and was it's always been a perplexing moment for mm-hmm. me. Right. Whenever I read that, I'm like, Paul, like, how could you not care mm-hmm. that some are preaching it with bad intentions? With 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 like, how could you not care? Which I imagine had to be shocking. Mm-hmm. Right. Shocking. It's a letter. He. To understand what I'm saying, he wasn't randomly thinking. No, Paul prepared a response mm. that they were, the church of Philippi was going to read. Mm-hmm. And so he is not even there face to face to add anything to it, right? And he says, guys, I know. Mm-hmm. So the only way he would know is if he was informed, right? So he was informed. He had time to think about this, and what he came out with was, it's not my job. Mm-hmm. It's, it's my job that it's shared. Mm-hmm. It's God's job to purify the hearts of those who are sharing it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, um, and why is that so important to us, right? Because we have to look back over. Um, and one of the major mo- notes of, of today's message was just for you to be refreshed, for you to be restored. Right. Right. Like, you have to look back over mm-hmm. some of the things you've been complaining about. Yeah. And, and realize that mm-hmm. when you, it wasn't my job to complain. Because mm-hmm. I think of all the ways Paul could have just complained about it. Yeah. Like, he didn't have to be that bold and say, no, I don't care. Right, he didn't have to be that bold about it. He could have been saying, "Man, guys, and I hope God brings that to an end." Right? He could just, that just seems right. like a generally mm-hmm. acceptable mm-hmm. comment. But he delivered. It is not my job, mm-hmm. right? Which yeah. that to me is Paul once again showing us the power of knowing specifically your excitement, yeah, and how we can be healed from things that agitate us, things that bothered us, things that, you know, because you ever heard By he's, he's, seeing whose job it is. We can go oh, back, man. we can go back now right. and realize that mm-hmm. wasn't my job, no way. Right. Healing. Right. Right? right. And, and I could imagine that to the mm. people, to understand this is Paul writing a letter, that mm-hmm. when the letter got to them, yeah, that they were like, snap. Yeah. Big load off my Big shoulders. Load. Refreshed. Refreshed. So Paul has this moment of clarity. Yeah. This, I mean, he's in prison, but he has this reflective moment. Clarity comes from it. Um, and what, what was just put in my heart was that Paul wasn't, as far as his person, he wasn't, he wasn't finished. Yeah. He wasn't done. We, I know we look back on Paul and we, we, you know, we 
honor him for the work that he did and what he contributed yeah. to the church. Um, but Paul wasn't done yeah. as he went through this. He's yeah. being developed. We think about the, um, the throwing in my side conversation he has yeah. with God, who prays three times. He learned something. So he's still, de- he's still receiving clarity and <sighs> understanding and revelation. God is still building him. He was, wow, that's so strong, right? Because mm. he said that wasn't the end of the journey, right? Right. But he was mm-hmm. being prepared for the final chapter. Yeah. That's good. Right? He, yep. he, like, like what? Mm-hmm. It's like, <laughs> wow, that's good, God. I'm, mm. I'm just, I'm just, mm. it's just mm. now even, even coming together that, that mm-hmm. it's like, Paul, you can't be afraid of prison. Right. Mm-hmm. You're, you're about, you're entering the final chapter. Mm-hmm. And, man, you can't be afraid of it. You yeah. know? Um, wow. And, 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 because what, what, what you need for what's next, you yeah. know? And, uh, oh, man. Man, I'm about to I just think about the clarity of the assignment. Yeah. When you're clear on your assignment, Paul was so clear on his assignment that the things that happened, he, he used the clarity that he had about his assignment to determine, even in, in moments, which yeah. way it was going to go. I, Paul said, listen, we're on this ship. This ship is about to wreck. But if you stay with me, we're going to make it to where we need to go. Yeah. Because I got an assignment. Yeah. I'm going to Rome. And that was the clarity, right? <laughs> right. Even, to, even at the end, right? At the mm-hmm. end, Paul, because you got to realize, so Paul is in prison mm-hmm. under threat of death. Oh, yeah. But by the end of it, he mm-hmm. delivers such clarity mm-hmm. by saying, like, he gets his bold to say, I know I have to live yeah. because I have to live for he your is. sake. Right now that I understand mm-hmm. how clear mm-hmm. I am, mm-hmm. I understand the clarity of my deliverance. Mm-hmm. Like, like Paul, Paul is like almost you can hear wow. him building up the whole time to like yep. he got to. He said, "I don't know. Mm. For me, I, I I could. I don't know if living it better is dying it better." Mm-hmm. But he had got so clear about mm-hmm. his intention that he's like, "I know living, yeah, is better mm-hmm. because I have not finished." Mm-hmm. Telling you, and this is the part I love. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get mm-hmm. there. But he said, I haven't finished telling you how the fullness of your salvation. Mm-hmm. I haven't got done telling you how good it is yeah. to be saved. Oh yeah. Right? Like he's mm-hmm. he's like, like, so I know yeah. I shall live. Yeah. Right? Paul knew he was the bearer of the good news. Like he knew it. Yeah. Like, like God, it, God got some good news to tell you. It is so good. And there's probably yeah. There's probably that I would imagine too. Like that's the only mm-hmm. moment Paul could even for him. Like God, how how good is the news I got? Yeah. And without him, wow. Without him, how like in prison he learned how good that good news is. Right. Like without that moment, like it, it, it's like that. First of all, well, oh, man, man, my goodness. So I'm, good. I'm going over here to Psalms, right? Which mm-hmm. is another part. I'm, that's I don't. Good. Okay, I'm not going. So but, good. Um, but oh man, it talks about the anchoring, right? Reflection mm-hmm. require um, brings an anchoring. Mm-hmm. Um, oh man, it's a, it's a psalm of David. I'm, I'm not gonna go there because it opens up a whole other thing. But 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 oh, I'm what you're saying is so right. good. What you're saying is yeah. so good. So Paul Paul came to a moment of clarity, knowing his assignment, knowing that I, this message is so good that I, it has to be shared. So whatever I'm dealing with right now, there are moments when he was like, I know I'm coming out of this. Because yeah. this good news has to be shared. Yeah. And so on Sunday, you sh- you sh- you made a statement that we can if we filter our pain through our purpose, what comes on the other end of, of being able to do that? Because this is a moment where Paul is filtering pain on, on many occasions. He filters his pain through his purpose. As a matter of fact, he gives this whole passage where he runs down all his pain, mm-hmm. the beatings, the torture, the jail, and all these <laughs> things, shipwreck, snake bitten, da-da-da. He filters it through his purpose, and it comes out to be good. Like, this was worth yeah. giving you this gospel of grace, yeah. right? Yeah. And we, we, you know, this, this moment of reflection brings us to the same place yeah. where, man, if I filter, you know, my pain or filter the, the valleys or filter those moments through my purpose, I come out with much more clarity about it. Yeah. And you, mm-hmm. so, so which... You know, and, and sometimes, you know, our, our, our goal here at Revenge of Mysteries is to present the gospel in a simple way. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and so, so, so what that was, was, you know, I, wanna, I don't like, you know, we try to stick away from these words like formula, right, or mm-hmm. method. Mm-hmm. But um, that, that's the process of healing. 
That's like, good. That's the yeah. process of healing. Mm -hmm. The process of healing, mm -hmm. if there was a one, two, three of healing, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three of healing is filter your pain through the purpose you're living in. Healing. That's good. Right? Mm -hmm. But all that sits on the table that the mm -hmm. most important thing that you see in life mm -hmm. is God's, you walking out God's will. Right. Right? So if, if, if the I most important... Say, say that part again. So in order to be able to do that, What's, that sits on the table with, I'm here to fulfill the will of God for my life. That's that me. has to be on so, the table. And we talked about that okay. last week where mm -hmm. fulfilling God's will always will be optional. And to, um, optional to change will always be optional to, to me until fulfilling his will becomes personal to me. I was hoping you would say and that so, again. And so what are we saying? We're saying mm -hmm. like, man, like when fulfilling his will becomes personal to me, mm -hmm. then all of these events mm -hmm. become... Uh, clarity comes to these events, mm -hmm. but in it's, it, but that doesn't happen. That doesn't occur mm -hmm. until like it becomes personal to me. And so right. what we're saying is, if you want healing, like it, it, like healing comes first. It, it's the foundation is my whole life mm -hmm. is designed, which that's what Paul also gets to the end of Philippians. My mm -hmm. whole life is about bringing glory to God. Yeah, like that's it. That's mm -hmm. all I care about. And when I sit that at the bottom and I'm standing on that foundation, mm -hmm. then I tell, look at my, the pain of my past and I filter it through my purpose. Healing will come play, take place because I will see how that that I went through is bringing this to pass. That's good. And that's mm -hmm. the most important thing to me. Yeah. I will see how the most important thing that I value, which is the most important thing that any believer should be value is fulfilling God's will for their life. Yeah. Um, I, 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 that 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 alignment is mm -hmm. where healing takes place. That's so you good. know, and um, yeah, and, and I know, like, say, our our mission, our aim is to say things simple. And mm -hmm. for some people, that's like it can't mm -hmm. be that simple. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it's, it, that it, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. it, it, you your thing you value the most is fulfilling God's will. Mm -hmm. When you when that's the most important thing to you, mm -hmm. man, look at your pain. Mm -hmm. Filter it through your purpose, mm -hmm. and you will see what God has built you to do. Yeah, and that's 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 good. That's it. You know, here we are. We are we are celebrating thirty years yeah. of ministry. Founders Week is is coming up, yeah. um, the thirtieth year anniversary. Yeah. And uh, what we're talking about right now just makes me think of, um, you know, Pastor Poe. Yeah. I say, man, I don't think I knew any person that changed better than Pastor Paul. Yeah. And I know it was the changes that we saw him, you know, I witnessed him make for, I don't know, 15 years, were because this is what he believed God required. Yeah. It, was requ it was required for him to do what he was called to do. Mm -hmm. So he was willing to change. But there are other members that I think about in the church who over the years I've seen change and uh, it was a beautiful thing. It's so encouraging to me. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, because, you know, I, I grew up in a season where, you know, people say that, you know, once you, the older you get, the harder it is for you to change and all of that kind of stuff. But I look at um, even, you know, I look at Clem Slater. That's his last name, yeah. right? Deacon Clem. And um, I remember Deacon Clem when I, Salter, is that his last name? Yeah. There we go. I, I remember Deacon Clem when I joined the church. And the Deacon Clem that I know now is different from the Deacon Clem <laughs> I knew when I joined. Yeah. And um, there are other members. I mean, um, just a couple that stand out to me. Miss Margaret. I don't know Miss Margaret's last name. Yeah. Uh, she's an usher, too. She's in Super Seniors. But I remember Miss Margaret when I joined. Yeah. And I know Miss Margaret now. And I'm seeing people who, even if it wasn't said like this, yeah. but they took that to heart. Yeah. Like, no, God has called me to this. So these changes are necessary yeah. in order for me to do this. And I think that it was, it's important, and I love that this is being pulled out now because here we are at the start of 2020, which, forget, we reference it because this is the year, yeah. but is, I think it is a season, mm -hmm. all right? You spoke to that a week or so ago yeah. where God has us reflecting on purpose, reflecting on yeah. moments of our lives so that we get clear clear about our assignments yeah. collectively and individually. And then through that, I can decide, okay, if this is where I'm going, then these are the things that, that, 
that have to change. Yeah. And this is so valuable to me yeah. that I'm willing to change these things in order yeah. to get there and work through this process of God building me, me and God together, yes, right? Sir. Me and God together. Yes, so, um, like I say, no, not self-help, not uh, resolutions or self-improvement, but I know that I'm trusting that he who begun a good work in me will yes. see it all the way to its completion. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and um, I believe that's... that's that's exciting enough of a journey. I know people aren't necessarily booking uh, vacations these days. Yeah. But that's a vacation. Yes, yeah, sir. That's a journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you will be mm-hmm. amazed. You're going to be amazed. Um, wow. At how far and where that takes you. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to share a moment um, now um, that uh, I've never shared it publicly before. Mm-hmm. But um, I've had several prophetic encounters in my life. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, from someone... Mm-hmm. Prophesied of my over my life, and um, of course, the ones that well, I've had a lot, but the ones that I hold true to are from. I always tell people, man, like you know, and this might offend some people, but it is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I always value those moments when they come from somebody who knows you, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and so the ones that I hold true to are the yeah. ones that are from people that um, that knew me, right? Mm-hmm. And um, this was, I don't know, if some people probably remember, we had an outreach conference, and we had a fire tunnel. And uh, in that fire tunnel, everybody was, you know, speaking, speaking affirmations over people's lives. Mm-hmm. And I remember I went through the tunnel, you know, just as excited as, as um, everybody else, right? Mm-hmm. This is before, this, this is like, this is teenage Pastor Brian, right, mm-hmm. where, and it's all good. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and so uh, I, I go through the tunnel, and um, you know, time for me to get my word. I'm so excited, and uh, actually, the person, which was which is pretty incredible, it was my mom, mm-hmm. who was my person mm-hmm. um, to to share what God had shared with her, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. she just looked at me and she says, "God's about to take you on a journey." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm a person, I love a good journey. Mm-hmm. I love excitement. Um, I love it. Mm-hmm. And um, probably a couple of days before, I saw this image. Um, and at that time, I was very, very much so involved with exactly how um, we were, the images you see as a ministry. Mm-hmm. And if you remember, there was a, um, the outreach conference that year. It was a man standing on a cliff overlooking like a valley. And it just looked like he was just looking out like, man, there's a journey ahead of me. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that image, I was like, man, this, this speaks to me about what the outreach conference is going to be about. Mm-hmm. And so we went with that image. And so then uh, we get to that moment and uh, Pastor Derek said, God's going to take you on a journey. This moment, like I say, I'm just teching, you know, mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, I'm a technician. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going on journeys, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I reflect back now. Yes. And... Uh, Mm-hmm. What a journey. Yeah. What a journey. Mm-hmm. Um, filled with peaks and valleys. Mm-hmm. But what a journey. Yeah. And, um, and so what am I saying? I'm saying that, man, God has a journey for all of us. Yeah. Um, filled with peaks and valleys. Mm-hmm. And, um, but even the valleys are so enriching mm-hmm. when you reflect. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, allow God to, to just, hmm. oh, man. And um, it's real. Mm-hmm. And that's what I want people to know. Mm-hmm. And um, this is not, man, it sounds good. No, this lives good. Yeah. You know, um, I would say the last four years mm-hmm. of our ministry mm-hmm. as a family, mm-hmm. we've been through a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Been through a lot as a family. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been through a lot as the Poe family personally. But every but because of how our ministry was 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 groomed and Pastor Poe, how large he is, like it all, we all felt felt it. Mm-hmm. And um and um but man, we 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 look back and um actually reflect on a specific moment and um I'm so excited about what we've been walking that out the whole time. One of the last things Pastor Poe left us with, he says, you know, the greatest expression of the gospel being preached isn't what yeah. the hearers, isn't what the preachers right. do, 
Mm -hmm. um, is what the hearers do. Mm -hmm. And I've watched how prophetically Pastor Dollar then came and said, um, he, he spoke at this moment um, of past opposed transition being an activation mm -hmm. of us all. And um, I sit here and, 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 and um, which, man, none of those words, hmm. none of those words brought healing. Mm -hmm. they, they, they brought perspective. Mm -hmm. They brought truth mm -hmm. that we would have to hold on to um, four years later. Yeah. And take that truth and reflect back. And now we get healing. That's good. And now we can see mm -hmm. gifts here. We can mm -hmm. we can we can see mm -hmm. people exploding. And in that moment, it it didn't mean nothing. Yeah. It, it, it was like mm -hmm. that's not enough to erase the pain. Yeah. Um, but man, as a ministry, we mm -hmm. were able to um, and I'm saying this because it's it's not it's not fake. You know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to say this mm -hmm. is real, mm -hmm. and it's it's changed my life. I know it's changed your mm -hmm. life, and to see the explosion of gifts, to mm -hmm. see that, um, and to see the journeys people have started. You know, I, I watch even as our staff has embraced yeah. their gifts and starting businesses, and and, and 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 just incredible. And I say, God, this is what you were talking about. But, but but what I want to know, what I want people to know is, it's as we look back, mm -hmm. um, look back, we see it. And it's like, God, you're working it together. Absolutely. And uh, man, mm -hmm. you know, what a journey. Oh, yeah. What a journey. Peaks oh, yeah. and valleys, but what a journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, mm -hmm. I'm excited about next. I'm excited yeah, about next yeah. too. That's what Mark got me. <laughs> That's, he got me crying. I'm excited I gotta about stop, next man. Too. I gotta stop. But uh, <laughs> man, God's oh, God's man. been good, man. Yes, he has. He's been faithful, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a promise keeper. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. Absolutely, you know, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I think this was just a, a necessary necessary moment yeah. um, to have just to. I mean, if anyone needed more clarity about the impact that um, this, and I hate to put it on time, it re make time references because I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know how long, you know, the work that God is doing in you and your household will take. Um, but we're at the beginning of the year. And the image that I keep getting is, you know, here at the beginning, it's like, you know, God is just pulling us back in this slingshot, you know, and the further back he pulls, the, yeah. the, further, yeah. the further we go. And um, so I believe the people who are watching, you're already taking this to heart. Just take yeah. this moment to heart. Uh, grab your family, grab your friends, and uh, yeah. do all that's in your strength, you, all you can to be diligent, in this moment of reflection, refreshing, and restoration. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited about what's next. Yes, sir. I'll say it like that. I'm excited about what's next. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, uh, Pastor Brian, unless you have something else to say, um, this may be a, an abbreviated uh, deeper dive this Thursday, but I think that there's enough that's been said to uh, do exactly what God intends to do here. We love you. We look forward to seeing you this weekend. It's going to be a powerful weekend, yeah, this weekend yes, coming yes, up. Yes. Um, but until then, we love you. We'll see you soon.